Hello everybody, uh, in this video uh, I'm going to show you how you can create this type of invoices for your business. We have prepared this template for you yeah, and we'll share the, the template code in the description. So it's completely free, you can download it and use it for your business. Also, uh, I'm going to show you how you can customize, how you can customize the colors, the, the logo and other stuff uh, in the HTML code. And also, I'll show you how you can convert this HTML to perfect looking PDF like you see in, in my example. Yep, so okay, let's get started. First of all, when you will download the source code, you will find the folder with multiple files. So first of all, we have index.html. So this is the main file uh, that contains all the, all the source code. Uh, also, style.css style, style is included. So here's the main style file where you can customize colors, uh, fonts and other stuff. Also, we do include some extra files. Uh, one is the uh, template file to use inside the tower tool called template. So this will allow you to automatically generate PDFs on the fly with dynamic data. Uh, we also do have like a schema for JSON and also JSON uh, example that must be included when you want to generate uh, dynamic invoices. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first of all, uh, this template was created uh, using Tailwind framework. So if you are familiar with Tailwind, uh, you can use the syntax of the of that framework to customize the actual design of the of this document. Um, so yeah, a few things that you need to change. First of all, we use main color in the config, so you can you can use any color you want that represents your brand. And another thing that uh, we are inclu including here is core plugins. So we do use this to um, generate colors to hex format. So because when we want to print it to PDF or save it as a PDF, we do need like old school hex color syntax in our CSS file. And another thing, so we add few uh, Few parameters to our CSS. One is page with margin zero and another one is media print. So and in case you are not familiar with um, Tailwind, so what you can do is just open the style file and let me show you how you can customize this template. So for example on the right side you can see the preview of our um, template. So for example, we want to customize the main color. So you need to go to the styles, uh, style CSS file and find for the keyword dash main. So we have like three classes uh, that has contains this main color. So let's say we want to have something like pink one okay like this and also we need to find text main so we have like text main so this one is for uh, this one will change all the text uh, text main text color we have border main so this will this one will change the border color and we have bg main so this will change the background color so yeah, after we save, so we can see that our preview has changed to the colors we are using in, in our CSS. OK, 
okay so yeah and another one uh, another thing that we can do is like um, we can change the logo here so let me use for example this one yeah so I've changed the logo and uh, yeah as you can see it uses H12 class so I can go and find this and for example I can do this smaller size so for better looking and now you can see our template with uh, customized colors and, and uh, logo so so now we can simply click Control or Command P to print the document and we can uh, we need to select like save as PDF destination yeah so and we can simply click save and this PDF will be this document will be saved as PDF so but in this case we must manually change all the data we need so for example if we need to change the date so we need to go and type something like we need to change the date we need to change the invoice number manually we also need to adjust the product rows so here is like uh, here is the row of the product as you can see this is the number this is the name of the product this is the price quantity VAT rate this is the sub subtotal this is subtotal with VAT and finally we need to customize the net total VAT total and like the total amount of, of the invoice and like yeah we can do this manually if we want yeah but we want to have like more automated uh, solution for that so let me show you how you can do that using the few extra tools so to uh, automate our process we'll use template so this is the tool that allows us uh, dynamically uh, generate files um, on the fly like in this example we can like do some adjustment and the, our template will be dynamically changed with the new value so instead of changing like looking for uh, places in your HTML and editing uh, all that stuff we we can simply like change few places in our JSON okay so let's log in so yeah in my dashboard I'm going to add new template I'll select PDF and we'll select custom HTML click continue and now we can give it a name so I'll give mine tutorial invoice and here is our HTML body so as I mentioned previously we we are including the template document so the, the most important part that we have to use styles inside the, this document so we can't uh, link the to the style file because we only can include the the HTML document so but we can simply copy the style of the of this document and paste it here but the main part is that we can take a look at the for example uh, here instead actual date we are using the syntax um, so this syntax will automatically replace the value included in the JSON file yeah so and the same is for uh, uh, the same is applied for the information so the customer we want to uh, charge so we want to issue the invoice for so all this data dynamically is um, changing and applied to this document and the same goes the the, the first part is that uh, all the totals will be calculated uh, depending on the products included in the invoice and uh, 
the products will be also generated so uh, automatically to the table so the products will be included in the table depending on the on our JSON file yeah so okay for let's copy copy the, the content of this file go to our dashboard simply paste it here and let's click save new template so okay after we save the template uh, we'll use the tool called insomnia so this is the tool that allows us to make api requests uh, so yeah you can find this uh, it's a free tool you can use it's called insomnia so what we're going to do we'll make an api request to the template to generate our uh, invoice template so for first we need to take the id of the template so we've created earlier so this is the id of our template simply change it to our url and another th thing we need to include our uh, token here so in the menu click tokens and if you don't have any you can generate one i'll use existing one so simply paste it here and uh, yeah so we can try it out so yeah so as you can see it it renders the uh the, the pdf invoice but without any data because we haven't included in our body now if we'll go back to our uh, source code we have the json body example here this is how our data should look like so simply copy this uh, this json uh, string here inside the body select json and simply paste the data and now again we can and give it a try we are sending the invoice and as you can see it automatically generates the the date the invoice number the customer details and uh, like the products the product uh, price quantity vat and net total vat total and and the total of the invoice and the cool part is that we can add few rows like we can add additional uh, Mm, for example test services with the price 300 and if we click send it automatically applies like adds new row uh, add a new road and recalculate the net uh, net total vat total and the uh, total of the invoice and yeah so same goes to the customer data for example if the uh, we, if we have only the one address line and customer does not have any vat number and i know we don't we don't have any data about postcode so we can send the that that number of data we have about customer and it automatically will be applied here yeah so this is the same as uh, printing in in the printing document in the browser. We can simply download it uh, and place it wherever, whatever we want, and send it to the customer. So this approach is much much easier than um, editing an HTML file. Of course, if you're a developer and you are familiar with uh, an API so you can create an integration uh, in your system that will automatically um, make those API requests and generate the invoices for you yeah so basically that's it for this video uh, all the all the source code and then files will be links to the files will be included in the description so feel free to download it and use it for your uses whenever you want and uh, if, you have, if you have any questions feel free to add your comment below this video and yeah also if you like what we are doing click the like button and thank you for watching see you in other videos 
Bye.